On the twelfth day of Kitsuke, my musubi will be Fukurazu Sume. Part two. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be looking at part two of the Fukura Zusume Musubi. If you missed part one, the link is in the description below. Definitely check it out because you're going to need to know what to do before getting started on part two. Let's take a look. Next you're going to make the wings. First thing you're going to do is you're going to bring this part in, open it up, and fold it in. Now the official instructions say to make three mountain folds. I actually prefer the look of five mountain folds, so that's what I'm going to do. So one, two, three, four, five. Five mountains. Bring it in like that. Bring the opposite strap over and secure it in place. Where are you, Snap? There you are. Perfect. Next, you're going to bring this one over and open it. And again, five mountain folds. One, two, three. You're gonna have some bulk on the bottom, second layer. Four, five. There we go. Now I'm not exactly happy with that, it doesn't look very nice, so I'm gonna redo that. I'm gonna try and make the bottom a little flatter so it's easier to work with. There we go. And one, two, three. That's looking better already. Four, five. There we go. There we go. Bring this in. And again, the opposite strap, bring it around and secure it. First find it, then secure it. There we go. And you want to curve down the edges of your bow. Make sure that they're more or less even. This part here you want to fold in, make a nice almond shape. Next, you're going to need your obiage. Your obiage is going to go into the hole right here of the biosugata. So we're just going to thread it through like that. Next, we're going to form the drum. So your box fold might have come undone a little bit. Mine has. I'm just going to bring it back into shape and then bring it over like that. Make sure it looks nice and pretty. There, that's a pretty bow. Next, you're going to need your obijime. Uh, your obijime is going to go underneath the obi and you're going to flip up and create the tail. Uh, the tail on the Biosugata should be slightly longer than on a regular Otaiko Obi. So I'm going to make it a little longer. Hold it a little higher. There we go. And to hold it in place, your Biosugata should come with two lovely pink clips. So we're going to clip everything. Make sure to get all three layers. Otherwise, your Obi will come apart. So now we're going to actually put the musubi on, uh, on your back. It doesn't actually sit on your back, it actually gets supported by the date jime. So what you want to do 
is you want to pick it up in your right hand. And I'm just going to fold this up. You want to grab all of this. Okay. And with your left hand, move your sleeve out of the way. Bring it under and around. All right, so now my obi is behind me. What I want to do is I want to rest the bottom of the biosugata inside of the Dante Jime. So I need to bring it up, and I'm just going to pick this up to show you. And you can lean forward while you're doing this, no problem. And just slide it in. It doesn't have to be all the way, just enough to give it some support. So while you're still leaning forward, first of all, you want to find the pink ties. There's one pink tie, second pink tie. These are the top ties. So you're going to tie them as tight as you can. There we go. And then I'm just going to get my obiage of the way and just tie it in a temporary knot. Now you're going to bring this part around your body. Uh, this is when you add the obiita. So the obiita, the curved side always goes up. Just find the first pocket right there and we'll slide it in. This tie is actually going to go all the way around your body and come out the right side. So I'm going to bring it around. And you want to find the other tie. There it is. And you want to pull tight. And tie. tuck it all away. Next comes your OBG May. And your OBG May I'm just gonna bring to the front. And you want to make sure it's as level as possible. Very good. Feels pretty good. for celebrations, with tassels go up. So now we're going to take care of all the little details. We're going to start with the obiage. The obiage, first of all, you're going to fold into thirds. So you're going to bring the bottom up and bring the top down. And the right side, you want to make sure that the obi is covering the top of your obi and tuck it in. There we go. And same on the left side. So again, in third, and in third. And bring it across. Make sure it's covering the top of your obi. And just tuck it in. Last step is you want to check your bow. You need to reach over the opposite shoulder and adjust the wings. Make sure the, the end is curved over. Make sure it's nice and high and pointed. Check the other side. Bring it up a bit. Make sure it's nice and curved. There we go. And finally, most important step is to remove the clips. Well, that's all for the 12 days of Kitsuke. Thank you everyone very much for watching. I really enjoyed making these videos and I hope you enjoyed watching them as much as I enjoyed making them. Have a very Merry Christmas or a Happy Hanukkah or a Happy Kwanzaa or a very Happy Oshogatsu.
and good luck with your kitsuke in the new year. Bye bye! Have a really good winter break. Have. Blah, blah, blah.